welcome back to my channel or if this is your first time here hi my name is Dana I upload a new video at least once a week and whenever I can I like to add in an extra or two in there so if you haven't yet now is a great time to subscribe to my channel to stay on top of all of my new videos about three years ago, I did a few different mug collection videos. I did like a David's Tea one, I did a Disney one, and I have accumulated even more, so I think now is a great time to do an updated look at my mug collection. So this is going to be all of my David's Tea mugs and all of my miscellaneous mugs from all different places. And then I decided just for the purpose of the length of the video, I'm going to do a completely separate one for my Disney mugs. So this one is going to be all of my mugs and all of my teaware except the Disney ones. So I guess let's just jump right into it. I'm not really gonna go in any particular order, I don't think. This was one of my very first mugs ever, like my first tea mugs. It is from, I think, Adagio, and it's just like this really pretty, basic, like light, like ballerina kind of pink. It's really gorgeous. It has a chip on it though, because I've had it for so long and it's so like well-loved that um, I, I used to use this one a lot when I first got into tea. These two guys I've had for quite a while too. I think we got them when we first moved into our apartment. They're just these cute animal mugs. Giraffes are my favorite animal. So we have this guy here, <laughs> so cute. And when me and Gerald first met, he had a pug dog and her name was Brittany and she was so precious. So this is our little Brittany mug and she even has the curly pug tail. My mom got me this mug. I think it was from Home Goods, but it says Mermaid at Heart and it has a mermaid tail. And then the handle is really cool too because it has scales. We just celebrated our first wedding anniversary and we had a really awesome long engagement. So I used this cup that says the bride during that. I love how it has like a little like foot on it. I just think it's so elegant and cute. I have a super special connection with cherry blossoms and I saw this, this mug at a Target Starbucks and it's so pretty because it's like kind of geometric and graphic, but it's cherry blossoms. So it's like, it's kind of like a different context than you normally see them and it just looks like really cool and modern. So this is kind of my go-to for like a coffee mug. I mean, I love just drinking my tea out of clear glass mugs, which I'll show you what I have of those. Um, so whenever I reach for like different ones, it's usually for coffee or maybe like a special occasion where I do feel like using a opaque mug and not my clear one. This is a mug from the place where we had our honeymoon. It's called the Don Cesar. It was just like, it was so beautiful. Like, I feel like when I look at this mug, it almost feels how it felt when we were there. Like, if I picture myself like going into this picture, that's exactly what it looked like to like drive up to this gorgeous pink castle of a hotel. And it's, it's also the place, we didn't even know this when we booked it, but when we were there, we learned that that's where Marilyn Monroe went on her honeymoon too. So, had to pick up a mug to commemorate that because we had such a wonderful time on our honeymoon. For my bridal shower, I gave out like vintage teacups as favors and that was what I used as like the seat marker. I put like little cute tags on each cup and put like their names on them and arrange them where everyone was going to sit. And I did end up with some extras. This was one that I ended up not using because it does have like some chips and stuff like there's some weird spots on it but i just think it's so gorgeous like i love this cup i love the shape of it if you look really closely there's like ridges here which i think is really beautiful and it reminds me of chip from beauty and the beast but as like a real cup that's not meant to look like chip so it almost feels like Chip was modeled after a cup similar to this, and I really, really like it. This was one that I was going to give to somebody, but they ended up not able to make it at the last minute. So I still have it, 
and I don't really know what I want to do with it. I like it. I think it's a really pretty little teacup. I guess I'm just going to hold on to it for now and decide in the future what I want to do with it. I do have these little guys on my Poshmark right now. These, this little set of vintage stoneware teacups. These were another one that I bought for the um, bridal shower, but I ended up not using. And I, I like them. I think they're really cute but they're not like my first choice. So they are for sale on my Poshmark for $8 for the set if you're interested. So, so I'll leave that link down below because there are a couple other things I'm gonna show that are also on my Poshmark. But if you're interested in these cute little guys, they are on there for the taking. This is another one that I have for sale on my Poshmark. We um, one time went to a garage sale last minute that had all of these Ray Dunn stuff. Like, I, I always regret when I think back about it that I didn't buy more because he had like Ray Dunn birdhouses and all kinds of really cool stuff. But we barely bought anything. I think we only bought three mugs that day. And I've sold one because it said grad on it. And since um, it's graduation season, I just sold that one on my Poshmark. But I still have this one and it says amour, like the French word for love. We got such a nice deal because it was a garage sale and it was like the end of the day. So I keep, I just always think this was like a year ago, but I'm still thinking about it. Um, I'm always like, man, we could have probably offered like a set price for everything, like all the Ray Dunn stuff he had. And then we would have had like gifts for Christmas, Mother's Day, birthdays, you know, they just make really nice gifts and you can like fill it with cute things. So this one I, I'm holding on to in hopes that I can sell it. Oh, this would be nice for Valentine's Day maybe. This one is the one that we decided to keep from that little Ray Dunn haul and it says bored. <laughs> Ray Dunn, like, it's not really my style, like, that farmhouse aesthetic, but, like, and, and when we got this one, I was like, maybe we should sell it, I don't know, like, bored, like, I used to have such a negative connotation of, like, being bored, like, if you can't think of things to do, it's like, maybe you're the boring one, you know what I mean, like, I, I guess... When I grew up, my aunt would say, like, if you're bored, you're boring or something like that. So at first I was like, I don't know about this mug. But now, the situation now, I think being bored is like the biggest blessing we can have right now, you know, like being bored at home. There are so many worse things, like, you know, my, my family lost somebody to the virus. And like that anxiety of worrying about that person and, and being afraid and being anxious and, you know, the grief that came along after they passed, I would so much rather have like painful boredom than go through that kind of grief again. So I'm actually, I feel blessed to be on the other side of that and bored at home. So I actually really, I'm really into this mug now. It has like a whole new meaning for me. Being bored is a blessing. I'm blessed to be bored now. This mug was um, one that I won at a baby shower, my friend Carrie's baby shower. She had a baby boy who I think is now like, like three or four. So I've had this for a while and it's a mustache. So when you drink it, it looks like you have a mustache. Okay, let's do the glass mugs. This is my favorite mug of all time. It is like this woven, like kind of crystally looking glass Nordic mug from David's Tea. And of course I have tea in it right now. I actually have two of these, which is really nice. This one is chipped in like classic me fashion because so many of my mugs are chipped, but it still works. So I'm never gonna get rid of it because they don't make them anymore. So, so I'm really protective over these mugs. I never wanna break them, but it's like just the perfect size. It's nice and big. I like to see my tea. Like I like to be able to like enjoy the color and you know, and like feel like the warmth. Like I just, I feel like it's really comforting and like especially cause this is textured. It's just really like, I guess calming to be able to kind of feel like the warm texture. I don't know, maybe I'm weird, but I love clear glass mugs more than anything. This one came in a set of two or maybe we just bought two, I can't remember, but it's double walled, which is nice. So if the tea is hot, you know, you can hold it like that and 
your hand won't get hot and also it has this silicone like kind of coaster thing attached to it and it pops off which is really nice for cleaning because you can put these in the dishwasher so i like to just like pop them in the dishwasher like that so this part gets clean and the inside gets clean and there's no like gross buildup or anything in there this was called the perfect mug when it came out i have some other um like opaque ones that are the same shape but it's kind of like a geometric shape like it has straight edges instead of like the curved like nordic shape so i really like this one it's another one that they don't make anymore so so i'm always uh holding on to this one for dear life hoping nothing happens to it this is called the latte mug from david's tea it's another double walled one i feel like i need to clean these like give it a good solid clean this one is not dishwasher safe so i don't use it as much much as I use the other ones because they are dishwasher safe and it's just easier that way but I need to do like a poly dent on this one because it has a lot of tea stains but it's like nice and big and double walled and cute like it looks so cute with tea inside it um, I used to have two but we broke one because honestly like as much as I love my clear glass mugs it's inevitable that they're gonna break eventually so it's like it's almost like you can't get too attached but I am kind of in the market for more clear glass mugs because they are my favorite. They're my staple go-to every time I drink a cup of tea. This one's a little bit boring, but it's like this nice, just teal, plain David's tea mug. Not microwave or dishwasher safe, but that's all right. I don't use this one that much. Again, it's more like a coffee one for me, but I do think it looks really nice like in photos. Since it's like solid teal, it stands out really nice. And I think it originally came with like a marker so you could like write on it or draw on it and like design your own mug and then bake it to like preserve the um, the drawing. But I didn't want to do that. I just left it plain teal because I like the aesthetic. This is like so David's tea, you know, like it screams David's tea when you see this. And this is that rounded Nordic shape as well. This is another Nordic mug that I have. It is actually color changing. So there's all these like stars here that blend in with the cup, but then when you pour in hot water or hot tea, they appear and it's really, really magical. I do have a video when I did like strictly a David's tea mug collection, I did a demonstration of all of the color change. So I'll link that if you guys want to see it because it's really impressive to see them change color. It was one of my favorite things when I worked there to show people because it's just so magical. This is the perfect shape again, that those like straight lines and it's like slanted outward. But this is like a Christmas mug. It's like a Christmas kind of wintry sweater sort of pattern. And all of these did come with um, lids and infusers, but recently David's Tea stopped including infusers with every mug, so that has changed. I noticed that like David's Tea doesn't reliably have their perfect infuser on their website all the time. Like sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. I think right now when I'm filming this, it is there. But like I said, they don't come with the mugs anymore. So I decided since metal basket infusers are my absolute staple, it's how I always make my tea, I decided to commission my own. So I actually sell these now. Um, this had tea in it, so it's not like perfectly clean because I use it, but I am selling these on Amazon. They are extremely similar to the David's Tea ones. It's my dream to start my own line of teaware and maybe even tea someday. When I really thought about like what would be the first thing I would want someone to have, it would be a metal basket infuser. A lot of the times here on my channel, people like are just getting into tea and that's sort of like who I feel I'm speaking to, I guess. I know there's a lot of us who are like, tea nerds who have been drinking tea for years and have a million of these but i would like my very first thought was like what would my first thing be that i would recommend someone get if they were getting into loose tea and we've all like wasted our money and our time and energy with like weird infusers like i used to have this weird like floating one when i first got into tea but once i got my hands on a metal basket infuser i never went back because they're just reliable they're sturdy they don't break they're easy to clean so i do have a lot of these from david's tea and it's it's really the same concept but if you are in need of a metal basket infuser mine is available it's linked in the description box it's for sale on amazon 
Amazon. I also right now have it on Mercari and Poshmark if those are your preferred ways to buy things. This is just the start of my tea brand. So um, David's Tea doesn't metal basket infusers with each of their mugs anymore. And that's okay because you can help support my brand new up and coming teaware brand that barely even exists yet by purchasing one from me. <laughs> Okay, back into the mug collection. Two of my very favorites, the lobster and the bats. The lobster mug was the very first mug I bought from David's Tea when I started working there, and it has three black lobsters and then like a red lobster on the lid. And when you pour in the hot water, the lobsters turn from black to red. So again, if you did wanna see that, I'll link the video in the description where I go through all of the color change transformations and I demonstrate how they look. This, this was my first mug ever that I got a David's Tea and Gerald has a matching one so we actually have two of these in our house. The bat mug is a Halloween mug from when I worked at David's Tea and it has bats inside too. It's just super cool. These two cute monogrammed mugs are from Fortnum and Mason which is like a British company that's been around literally forever. And my mom's friend ordered us a basket from them as like a wedding gift. And these are fine bone china, um, which sounds very fancy, but Fortnum & Mason was established 1707. So that is before our country was even established. If you live in America, this tea company is literally older than America. <laughs> and I love that on the inside it says time for tea. This was another cute one from the bridal shower that I ended up not using and I just, I think it's really sweet looking. I thought about selling it, but it has like a mark on the inside, so it's not in like selling condition, but I, I can't just part with it. I can't just donate it because it's cute, so I'm keeping this one. I think this shape of mug from David's Tea was called Rustic Mugs, but they're these cute little shorter guys and they're really nice this one has a pink mitten on it with like a gold rim and a pink inside like gold details and a little heart connecting the connecting the mittens that's so cute so this is kind of a wintry christmasy kind of mug this one is one of my favorites because it's from the macaron collection and it has macarons inside which is so cute but then it's just a white mug with pink polka dots and there's like one singular gold polka dot which i don't really love I'd, I'd honestly be okay if it was just all pink but the macarons on the inside just make it like the cutest but honestly not as cute as this macaron mug david's tea did a macaron inspired collection when i worked there and the teas were kind of weird they didn't really taste like macaron flavors like there was like a cantaloupe ice one it was called like just weird stuff like that, but I loved the the tea wear because it's so cute. Is there anything cuter than macarons, especially like in a tea party context? They are just so adorable and delicious. All right, now I have like teapots and sets and things. So I'll start with this one because this was my first teapot. It's so round and simple and cute and I just, I love it. My mom got it for me from Adagio and it's just like chubby and special and i used to make like a pot of tea when i lived at my parents house still even before i worked at david's tea but i don't use it as much now but now that i'm like thinking about it and looking at it i should because i drink so much tea during the day like how easy would it be to just like you know pop an infuser in here and make a pot of tea and just continually pour into a teacup until it's gone oh and look at that my infuser fits in this teapot. <laughs> this is a set from David's Tea. This just happened. The wood came off the bottom. I remember this got recalled, this teapot, and I always wondered why, because now they have the same one, but without the wood. And now I know why, because the wood is just glued on there. And that's kind of messed up. Like you could see that it's, it's literally just glue. 
But either way, I love the way that this teapot looks. I'm just gonna glue it right back on because it's not like there'd be glue like in the tea. We used this in our photo shoot for our engagement, our engagement photo shoot. We did sort of like a mad tea party thing, like in the forest, like we set up um, on the side of like a lake with like trees and stuff around. We set like a little tea party table. So I don't think I'll ever get rid of this because it is a little bit special, even though it's broken. But this is the cup that goes with it. There are four of these. It has this really pretty like, like starburst kind of pattern, like mandala-like almost. I don't know why, but this set reminds me of Jane from Tarzan. I feel like it would be something that she would have. This set is absolutely stunning. Um, my in-laws gave me this for Christmas one year, and this is the little teapot. It's so pretty, it has like a little moon, and I love like, it's like cream and gold, and I love like the little like foot on it, it's so gorgeous. And then it came with two cups that also have the little foot, and they're just precious. And there's also this little like creamer bowl so cool i love this set it's just it's beautiful honestly it's from anthropology my last but not least tea set for this collection is this one it is um from david's tea it's this really cute like pink teapot and then there are these matching two little matching round cups that sort of mimic the shape of the bottom of the teapot which i think is really cute and I like this, but I always debate if I want to get rid of it. Like, it didn't come as a set like this. Like, the little teacups were separate, and the teapot was separate. I feel like these mugs are, like, the optimal shape to, like, read tea leaves. So it's, like, I always think about that. Like, I'm, like, should I get rid of this? I'm, like, well, no. What if I want to learn to read tea leaves? It's, like, it's just the perfect shape. So... I'm holding on to that still. <laughs> that is my mug and teaware collection. That's all of it besides the Disney stuff, which stay tuned for that video because I have a lot of Disney mugs to show you too. If you've made it all the way through this video, let me know in the comments what your favorite tea mug looks like or coffee mug, I mean, whatever. For me, like, it's so boring. It's probably the boringest mug I showed, but I just love my clear glass Nordic mug from David's Tea. When it comes to like drinking tea, like this is just, this is what I like to drink out of. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a beautiful day and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.